Hello everyone, this is Ethan and welcome back to another YouTube video. So this is the Instinct Pro Controller from Scuf. It is a Pro Controller that is compatible with the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and Windows 10. It is equipped with instant triggers, remappable paddles, a high performance grip, removable faceplate, and three different profiles. But with a starting price of $199.99, is it really worth it? So opening up the box, we are presented with the controller on top and all of its accessories. There is the scuff branding on the front and the side, a braided USB-A to USB-C charging cable, instructions in multiple languages, thumbsticks, two AA batteries, and a safety guide. So compared to a standard Xbox Series X and S controller, they are pretty much identical in terms of size as the Instinct Pro is a modified version of the standard Xbox Series X and S controller. However, the Instinct Pro does feel slightly heavier due to the modifications internally. To change the thumbsticks, simply lift the magnetic faceplate, take the stick that you want to change out, and put the other one in and then reattach the faceplate. You can also change the color of the faceplates as well. Scuff sells many different individual faceplate colors on their website. So setting up and pairing the controller to your Xbox is very easy. Take the battery cover off, insert the batteries, plug the USB-C cable into the controller and then into the Xbox, and then press the power button and you're good to go. So mapping the paddles to the buttons is very straightforward. Simply press the profile button on the back of the controller, which is right below the battery cover, and hold it until the light on the front starts flashing. Then go ahead and press the paddle you want to map with the corresponding button. In this case, I'll map the A button to the right paddle. Once that is done, press the profile button, and this will save your configuration. To unmap a paddle, press the paddle that was mapped, and then press the share button, and that paddle will be unmapped. The only buttons that the paddles cannot be mapped to are the share button, the LT, and the RT triggers. By default, the controller out of the box comes pre-mapped with these changes. The paddles can be remapped to 16 different functions. To change profiles, simply press the profile button and the profile change will be indicated by the change of the LED light. The three profiles are represented by the blue, red, and green lights. So let's see how this controller is when it comes to gaming. So I've been using this controller for a couple hours now, thus far playing Warzone, Halo, and Fortnite. And I must say, I am very impressed with this controller. One thing that has really stood out to me is the grip. My hands can get really sweaty when gaming in high competitive environments, but the high performance grip that this controller has so far has not prevented my hands from slipping. I think I can say that this grip is the best I have ever felt on any controller before. It also makes the controller very comfortable to hold for long periods of time as well. But I find that the coolest thing this controller provides is its instant trigger function. So underneath the controller is a switch for each trigger. If you flip it, it activates the instant trigger function. And man, when these triggers are in instant trigger mode, it really does feel and sound like a gaming mouse. I have never been able to get my shots off so quickly. Here is a comparison between the regular triggers and the instant triggers just to give you an idea of how ridiculous the difference is. The paddles on the back feel nice and work very well, although paddles 2 and 3 can be a bit odd to press with my fingers due to their placement. I almost have to use the outside of my fingers to access those paddles, which is something I don't really like. So when playing any multiplayer game, I find myself just using the outermost paddles 1 and 4 instead of all 4 of them. So now the real question, is this controller worth it? Yes and no. Yes because it is one of the best controllers you can get right now in terms of getting a competitive advantage. The high performance grip is awesome, and the instant triggers are amazing in terms of response time. Also, you can change the faceplate for your controller to give it a new look unlike other controllers. However, at $199.99, I would also say that this controller is overpriced and there are other options out there that give you just about everything that this controller gives you. A good example is the Xbox Elite Series 2. It normally retails for $179.99 but sometimes sells for even less than that and you are getting everything that the Instinct Pro does, but for much less and I would argue is more customizable. I will be doing a comparison between these two controllers, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss that video. Also, another thing I don't like about the Instinct Pro is how this controller only comes with a 6 month warranty, which for me is a letdown compared to the standard 1 year from most other products. For a product that costs as much as this does, it is a real shame that the warranty isn't longer. Well, you've just made it to the end of another video, so thank you, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications to not miss my next upload. Until next time.